Hi guys, welcome back to another one, and today we're going to be going into episode 5 of the Southampton career mode. Hope you guys will enjoy this one, as we kick it off with a cup game against West Bromwich Albion as well, if you're wondering. I had sorted all contracts and Minamino and Theo, Theo Walcott has been been have been signed to our club so everything's good all around the boards and now we face West Bromwich Albion in the cup Danny Ings off from Atletico Madrid for 32 mil that is quite half decent offer but we're not selling Danny Ings not yet definitely not yet um uh, Oh, so Ryan Bertrand wants a rest. That's the first time I've actually heard that someone wants a rest. I'm going with my second team. But that's interesting, guys. I've never seen that. I've never seen a player ask for a rest. They're all moaning to get games, not ask for a rest. But Ryan Bertrand's asked for a rest, and I'm playing my I was going to play my second team anyway, guys, so it don't really matter that way and Shay Shay Adams as well just give him a game in the cup which will be good um so yeah all good let's just hop into the game now and get into this one in the cup against West Brom we're playing our second team because everyone was actually quite tired from the prem start so we needed to rotate so that's what we've done and um Hopefully, from the likes of Shay Adams, they're not with me. And um, Gineppo, of course, can show up and perform. Here comes Shay Adams. Out for a corner to Southampton. In the middle. Gineppo's in the middle as well. Carl Bartley headed away from West Brom. Shadow's curls save from David Button. Oh, that's an annoying one, guys. It's Minamino to Diallo to Gineppo. Gineppo controlling on the ball here. Shadow's. Shadow's trying to poke it in, but good defending there from Carl Bartley from West Brom to the nice. Here comes Shea Adams. Obafemi takes the shot and a save from David Button in the West Brom goal. Gineppo to Shea. Back to Obafemi. To Shea Adams 1 0. And we get it kicked off with a goal. Shea Adams scores. It's 1 0 against West Brom. And uh, yeah, in real life, this picture. Last season, technically, it's Euros now, but last season, I think it was 1-1, and then I believe it was West Brom 3, Southampton 0, so. Well, we're just going to turn it around now, and we made it 1-0 in the Carabao Cup against West Brom. Um, hopefully, we can get more and clinch onto this game and get to the Premier League again, and the Europa League, of course, which I'm looking forward to play, be playing because I've put us in the Europa League, so, yeah, oh, tried to put it to Shay, can't do so, Minamino, in the area, Benderek, oh, punched away by David Button, Juniper will collect that, Smallbone, and uh, Edwards goes up for West Brom to Harmon, I don't know who Harmon is, or Shay, to your cush flu. Oh. Free kick to us, Salusu. To Benderek. Back to Gineppo. Puts it to Smallbone. And a uh, half decent effort there by Smallbone. As it still remains Southampton 1, West Brom 0. 
And also, um, when I'm recording this, about half an hour before I'm recording this, um, England beat Croatia 1-0, so all happy there. And it was a goal by Raheem Sterling, which won it. Which won it. So, yeah, we beat Croatia 1-0, which is good as well in the Euros to get things started. And it was like the first game we actually won. in The, the first game in the Euros. Like the first group stage game in the Euros, England have actually won it. For the first, I've actually won the first game in the group stage for the first time in like ages. So yeah, that's that's a, a cool fact, but um, yeah. So it's time for Queen to block. Oh, here comes the grass. Blocked by Benderek. Puts it back and uh, Yukushlu. Can't quite get there. Benderek. Benderek to Sam McQueen. Sam McQueen to Gineppo. Gineppo to Adams. Adams to Obafemi. Obafemi in. Obafemi shoots and Obafemi smashes in 2 0. And it's another goal from Obafemi. As he turns past O'Shea and... Oh my god, that is a juicy finish from Obafemi. He, I thought it was out. I didn't know what was happening. Or I thought it went over, but it hit the bar and went in. A good finish there from Obafemi, which makes it Southampton 2, West Brom now. And uh, we are approaching... Half time. Gineppo. The foreign. Diallo. Sam McQueen. Uh, loses it here. West Brom attack. But Diallo. Gineppo. Adams. Back to Gineppo. Sam McQueen. Back to Gineppo. Gineppo turns inside, Gineppo, the head it, and um, unfortunately there, can't do so, and that's off time, it's Southampton 2, West Brom 0, um, a good start, this match, I think we've played quite well, and uh, let's push for more, and of course, Kyle Walker-Peters, Minamino by his side, is he going to go for Minamino, he is, but it goes up for a throw, Minamino, it's a small bone. Back to Carl Walker Peters. Back to Minamino. Back to small bone. Forward to Adams. Back to small bone. Back to Obafemi. Forward to Adams. And unfortunately, can't get there. Minamino. To Obafemi. Obafemi to Adams. And the header goes wide. Ah, oh, it was a good opportunity for a header, but it goes wide, unfortunately, and we're denied. I right, oh, a uh, third goal against West Brom in the Carabao Cup with our second team. So David Button kick. He has done it. Grant to head. Obafemi. Oh, I don't know why it's a gun to head. It's getting confused. Small bone. Small bone. Go. Can't find ground. Sam McQueen. Benderick. Just going to run for that. And pass it back to Alex McCarthy. Salisu. Shay Adams. Puts it to Smallbone, gotta be three. Smallbone scores his first goal of the season in his second team. And Smallbone has made it 3 0 to Southampton. Just like that. Smallbone takes us into a three goal cushion. And guys, I think I just have the confidence to just jump to results. And we get a 3 0 win against West Brom. Simple. 
as as simple as you like. And we move on to the next round of Carabao Cup. But now we've got Liverpool action in the league. Now this is never easy. This ain't ever easy. So at the moment we've got seven points in three games. We did draw one. Uh, nil nil to Brentford. But uh, yeah. Wait. Brentford are 18th now. That's sort of embarrassing. Brentford played really well against me though. So we've got seven points. Uh, two off the top. If we beat Liverpool we go top. Okay, so what's happening here is if we beat Liverpool, we go top. All right then. All right then. So yeah, let's get some Liverpool action away and done, uh, shall we? Uh, we've got a Brian Birch in front of her. Ooh! Ooh! Should I, guys? Should I? Should I buy a new left back? I don't know. I'm going to reject it for now. I'll sell him January, may, maybe January. Most likely the new season. The next season. In the second season of this career mode, I think I'm gonna do se two seasons, guys. So you've got quite a lot of uh, we've got quite a lot of videos to go. Um, uh, oh, this. Uh, so I don't know why I'm just gonna sell them. Send them to Belgium. Uh, okay. Yeah, team's back. Okay, then Liverpool match. Um, this may be difficult, guys. This could be difficult. Don't know yet, but um, it's Liverpool. They're top of the league, like every single time you play FIFA, but uh. Unless you're just incredible and you just win every game. But, uh, yeah, we've got to get back to winning ways after a draw against Brentford and beat Liverpool and go first in the league. If we beat Liverpool, I do believe we go first in the league, but we can't doubt Liverpool. Liverpool could do a 30 here or something else could happen. We don't really know yet. So, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen yet. But uh, hopefully it goes our way. Stuart Armstrong... Um, oh no, Felix. Actually, that's Stuart Armstrong's fault for not passing into him, probably. Here comes Salah. Into Henderson, and it's a good tackle by Bertrand. As we try to doubt him, he comes up. Right, was that Bertrand? No, it wasn't Bertrand, guys, it was Vestergaard. I thought it was Bertrand then. I said Bertrand. Maybe it was, I don't know, guys. Oh, it's a low-driven shot. I think Johnson have it, had it covered, but uh, just goes wide there. As it remains, uh, Liverpool nil, Southampton nil at St Mary Stadium. As we face Liverpool at home. Oh, here comes Charles Felix. Here we go. This is what we want to see. Our attackers bombing forward with Danny Ings. Oh, what to say, four pals. Go Felix, hit out and a goal! And we lead 1-0 against Liverpool at St Mary's. But what the hell was this build-up play? play? Danny Ings, save from Alisson, what a save. Deflected from Ward Prowse's shot and then up and Joe Felix just heads it in. And it's 1-0 to Southampton against Liverpool. And we're closer and closer to getting that first in the league spot. Which will be brilliant but we are facing the best in the league right now so we can't doubt them one's not enough one is not enough to secure this match We're gonna have to get a few to secure this one i don't know what that shot was though from Firmino. we've got Vestergaard now james ford prowse jajal felix Romayu releases redmond come on 
back to Romeo, back to Bertrand, wait, not back to Bertrand, Bertrand tried to get the header out for a throw into us. Uh, Henderson, first guard. I'm also trying to tackle him as well, and Bertrand gets it away nicely. James Ward Prowse now with the ball to release it for Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong in the middle to Dannings, and it's a good header and it's a good save from Alison. And it's still. Southampton won Liverpool no at St Mary's, but that was a good chance to make it 2 0 there, but it was a good save from Allison. Oh my god, what are you doing, Vestergaard? Oh, Sadio Mane, offside, I think. We got Mane. To Henderson. Here comes Joe. I mean, no. Oh my god, I keep getting confused, I keep looking at the wrong way. This is Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse, Prowse takes the call. Curling effort and Anderson easily saves. What's happened to the scoreboard, guys? What's happened? Uh, that's all good. Whatever. Oh my god, what was that? What was that from Stuart Armstrong? So Gomez pushing for Liverpool. Thiago as well for Liverpool. Bertrand gets it away. Here comes Ward Prowse. Ryan Bertrand trying to pick up ground. It's going to be a, a nice catch there from Sam Johnson. Danny Ings is through against his former team. Danny Ings scores and it's 2-0 against Liverpool. And Danny Ings scores against his former club and makes it Southampton 2, Liverpool 0. And Southampton got the two goal cushion against Liverpool at St Mary's Stadium. As we are back on track winning 2-0 against Liverpool. Genie Wijnaldum, the man who actually got sold to PSG after deciding not to move to Barcelona recently. Ashley Armstrong trying to get there. Robertson pushing for the ball. Ward Prowse Ward Pro is having a good game at the moment. Here comes Jao Felix. Oh, is he just going to seal it? Is he just going to seal the win? He hits the bar. Oh, that's unlucky. Charles Felix hits the bar and it goes to half time at St Mary's. It's Southampton 2, Liverpool 0 at St Mary's. And uh, yeah, good off from the boys and we'll push on for more, like always. Here we go, Southampton 2, Liverpool 0 at half time and we're, go we're getting closer to the first position in the league table as the ball might drop points here. Cancelo moves out of place and now now Mane has placed a run but a good tackle there from James Ward Prowse. Danny Ings can he thread it through for Zhao? It's kind of a weird ball there as it leans over to towards the line. As it's actually found Armstrong. Armstrong will shoot it. It will be a save from Allison. And a corner for Southampton. In the middle. Dennings goes for it. But it's still in play. Armstrong heads it. Save from Allison. To deny us our third goal against Liverpool. Here comes Romayu. Here comes Redmond. To Jao Felix. To Dennings. Back to Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse, a bad pass from James Ward Prowse. Oh, he's let it through. 
Salah attacks for Liverpool, Bertrand trying to keep up with him. He can't though. But it's a good challenge there from Bertrand to keep Salah away from the box. Here comes Jao Felix. And now we have a chance on the breakaway. Jao Felix puts it to Danny Ings and it will be 3-0. Danny Ings makes it 3. And I'm going to bring on Diallo from Romeo. But we need three at St Mary's against Liverpool. Southampton three, Liverpool nil at St Mary's. And we are running away with it against Liverpool at St Mary's Stadium. And hang on, with half an hour to play, much more can be got. Oh, Diallo. First touch of the ball, tackles it off and puts it to Redmond. Here comes Nathan Redmond. Nathan Redmond to the middle. James Ward Prowse to Diallo. Can he get there? He can, but straight to Alisson. Here comes Liverpool. Here comes Amoso. Here comes Henderson. Splitting Southampton up with a brilliant tackle from Vestergaard. And Ward Prowse presses. On the counter-attack, here comes Charles Felix. What have Liverpool done here? They've let him run through, and it's 4-0 to Southampton. And I think I could just end the game there, guys. And it ends 4-1. Are you joking, guys? Oh, why did Liverpool have to score? Why? Why? It's so stupid. Oh... Origi comes on, two minutes by three scores, but we get a 4-1 win, so I'm not moaning. And, uh, we're on to our next game. So, three games in, like, 20 minutes, guys. Well, we've done two, but I want to my third. Ooh, dead on day, I didn't even know. It's dead on day. My Another player I was interested on selling, but not yet. Not yet, I don't think. Should we sign someone? I've, I don't care about my transfer thing now. We're just going to go for it. And you know what? If we're just going to go for it, guys, then why not just buy a left back on deadline day? And keep Bertrand as back? I think that's a good idea. Let's keep Bertrand for back of them by a left back, a proper left back. We still have plenty money to do stuff here. So we may as well. Uh who do we sign? That's the thing guys. Who do we sign guys? Who do we go for, lads? Could go for Robertson. Oh, we could go for Robertson. Uh, could go for Luke Shaw. That might be an interesting one. You know what? I'm going to put a scout. Oh, God. I'm just going to research real quick what Luke Shaw's rating is. And uh, then we'll be able to know and sign him. This is interesting. Hold on. Let me. You find out. Fees for twenty one. Okay, guys. Let's find out. Uh, what rating? Luke Shaw is. Luke Shaw is rating 82 with a potential of 85. So. Okay. Right then. Let's do it. Hold on. I just need to see. What's his rate? How much money? His value is 40 mil, guys, with a wage of 105,000. He's a left back. He's 25. 
Why not? Why not? Uh, let's just give herself a bit more wage. Be comfortable. And why why not go for this? It's an interesting signing. A player that I haven't signed that much really in career mode. Let's just do it, guys. Let's let's do it. Let's see what's happening, guys. Let's see. Right. For this offer, we're going to offer forty million to start. They are going to ask for more. Oh my god, that's so cheap. Okay, so we really start. Now we're going forty two. Forty two point five. Why not? And we found new tour guys. There we go. There we go, like guys. Cruise Hill for Luke Shaw, yes, at Southampton. Um, we're going four years. Yeah. We'll start his release cause, and let's put a wage of 110k. And a signing bonus at 250. Let's go! We have officially signed Luke Shaw to the side. He's 80 rated with 85 potential. And why not? It's a nice player to sign. He can replace Bertrand and he'll just fit into our back line. We may as well, guys. We may as well do this. And let's put Bertrand on the bench for McCarthy because you don't really need goalkeepers on the bench. And there you go. That's that. We signed Luke Shaw. And we still have 200 million to play with in January. I ain't bad, is it? Wait, is it? Are we playing in Europa League football for this game, guys? I think we are, you know. I think we are, guys. Zach Steffens. Jack Steffens, rather. I'm going to reject that one. And then Nathan Redmond for AC Milan, and I'm going to reject that as well. I don't want to sell anyone yet. Not yet. Uh, so, yeah. Let's just get through this and we might be playing Europa League guys for the last game of the video. It could be interesting guys. It could be interesting. I can see the news. And I think we are, you know. We only have one new talent. Like, Jay, I'm so confused. I got, I got staff out there, and they're just not getting anything. It is quite annoying. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go on season. I'm gonna go calendar. No, we've got a Villa game. So next episode, we have Europa, we have Europa League action. For this episode, we have, we have Aston Villa. Okay. Interesting. Oh my god, why can why can my things not get anyone anything? I'm so confused. Nathan Redmond offer. We'll get that from half of Berlin. Match rescheduled. Oh, month oh here we go. We've got some scout. So sign him. Sign this guy. I'll search for now. For you. This guy. Oh, I've got one good player. Carry on with the rest. And um, the last person who I've got to England got no one good. Oh, got one. There we go. So we, we have some new players. So there you go. Um, now let's have a look at their ratings. 
and the youth academy guys. 51, 51, 51, not 66, that's not bad, you know, to get started. Right guys, this is going to be a longer video, but I think, if we hurry up, we can, we can get this game in. Let's do it. Last game of the episode against Aston Villa. Next episode, we'll be going into game in the Europa League against Braga. Our first game in the Europa League will be played tomorrow. In the next episode, Luke Shaw gets his first start in the Premier League for Southampton against Aston Villa. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Ramayu trying to get the ball off Watkins. I'm also trying as well. Luke Shaw trying as well. He's just killing all my players right now. And what? What the hell has just happened? Aston Villa make it Aston Villa 1, Southampton 0. But I'm speechless. He gets past all my defenders. And then what's Sam Johnston doing here? Is it an own goal? It is. It's a rest of God. Oh my God. Rest of God own goal. I'm blaming Sam Johnston, but I can't blame him anymore. What the hell happened then? Oh my god. That is the most strange that is so strange. And now this is gonna be a struggle, isn't it? It's gonna be a struggle now, guys. Luke Shaw, come on, it's your debut. That's a good challenge there from Luke Shaw. Redmond oh This is gonna be difficult now guys. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that this is gonna be difficult. Oh, here comes Shao Felix, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, he misses it. It's, it's going to be the Brentford game all over again, isn't it? And he misses it against Aston Villa. Oh my god, it's the Brentford game all over again, but this time we're losing. Oh no. This is not good. This ain't good, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> that was almost 2 0 Aston Villa. We're lucky. Johnston to the rest of God. Hold on, guys. My fan is not turned on. And my PS5 is going mental right now. It's okay. Alright, we're back in the game. Oh no, 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 no. 2 0. Yo, what has Ollie Watkins done for us? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're not getting back from... What are we going to do? What are we actually going to do? Aston Villa to Southampton. I, I, I just don't know what to do. I'm just shocked. What has happened from the Liverpool game to this? What actually has happened? Something's happened because we're not playing good this time. Maybe it's Luke Shaw. Maybe it's Luke Shaw. I don't know. Because he's... I mean, he made a good challenge there, but he's like... I don't know. Should we have signed Luke Shaw? Oh, he's answering back at us now. And uh, that might be a no. Fortunately. In the middle. Luke Shaw! Uh, uh, <laughs> this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard game, guys. It's going to be a frustrating game. I'll tell you that. I can tell you that. Penalty! <gasps> no! Danny Ingspan. 
And we get it. It's Aston Villa 2, Southampton 1, Ward Prowse swings and then just slots it in the bottom corner. And Aston Villa 2, Southampton 1. And we get back into this game against Villa. Here comes Romeo attacking. I mean, Romeo, Romeo defending uh, Will Prowse. Back to Shao Felix. Releases it for Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse with a goal! And it's 2 2, Aston Villa 2, Southampton 2. And we're back into this game. All level at Villa Park. Aston Villa 2, Southampton 2. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're back level 2 2 with Aston Villa. And all we need is a winner now. All we need is a winner now. Can't say winner in 37 minutes though. This has been an insane game so far. Puts it through to Jao Felix. Come on, Jao. Come on, Jao. Yes, 3-2. We've just came from 2-0 down to 3-2 up against Aston Villa. Let's go. Let's go, guys. In the matter of minutes, we've done it. 3-2 to Southampton at Villa Park. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, guys. We've came back. We've came back from the dead and we've... We fought them well and hard. Scored three goals in the matter of how long? Not that long. Jao Felix. Jao Felix. To make it four. It is four. What has happened to Aston Villa? And it's Southampton four, Aston Villa two. Oh, wow. What has happened? Every... every so ever since we scored that first goal, it was Aston Villa 2, Southampton 1. We've been on fire. It's it's 4-2 now. We're leading 4-2. Wow. Okay. we got a good lead now. I'm not complaining. Well, I'm kind of frustrated that we didn't get a clean sheet, but Aston Villa have been... They were tricky to start, but now... Now, look what's happening. Can we talk about now? Okay, I think I'm just going to jump to result. Full to win. Okay. A routine win against Aston Villa. And there we go, guys. We are in to it. So, next episode, we've got Europa League against Braga and more Premier League action. Till then, guys, I'll see you all next time.